90,000 rooters fill the Rose Bowl to overflowing, and here are the highlights of the clash between Illinois and UCLA. The Big Nine Conference champs score first on this plunge by Rykovich, the first in a wide-open game that packs in plenty of thrills for the fans. Trailing six to nothing, the Bruins strike back. Case lifts along with the Horsch, and the Lutkins are on the touchdown path before they crack into the turf. The Bruins are bearing down. Case sneaks it over for the score. The Pacific Coast champions aren't disappointing their backers at this point. That comes in the second period, when the Illini chalks up 19 points. Buddy Young hammers at the Bruin gate. Young is bad news for the Euclids today, and here he goes, and there goes the ref. You don't want to be in the way of Illinois today. Paul Patterson is another Midwest bull in the Rose Bowl China shop. With a hard charging line and good blocking, he sets up still another Illinois touchdown and takes it over himself to put the big nine gritters well in the lead. At this point, the Bruins need faith, Bob Hope, and charity. And a long run to ease the sting of a 45 to 14 defeat. Well, here comes the run, and the runner, Al Hoysh, and the longest run in the history of the Rose Bowl. 103 yards in all, a honey of a run, but it didn't affect the outcome of the game. Illinois still wins. California's Governor Warren reviews Pasadena's 58th Tournament of Roses. Queen Norma Christopher holds court seated on a floral throne, attended by her six princesses. Santa Barbara's colorful float brings back memories of early Spanish fiestas. And heralding its Rose Bowl game with Illinois, UCLA carries out the gridiron motif to perfection. And what will a Southland parade be without bathing beauty? Santa Clara County features a bicycle built for two. And Tulip Day in Holland is one of the most striking of the 55 beautiful floats on parade in this holiday in flowers. A 15-foot Easter bunny offers a polite salute to the million and a half spectators along the route. Grand Sweepstakes Crown goes to the City of Glendale's spectacular float depicting General Washington at Valley Forge. And a patriotic theme continues in an outstanding floral pageant. Mm -hmm. 